Welcome back to Let's Talk Song. It is Sunday. We talk about song, song, song. Sunday, Sunday, Sunday. Monster truck, something, explosions. No, it's not that kind of thing. Uh, I have a very special guest today. I'm not just bitching about someone's song that uh, sent me something and doesn't, it isn't even here and can't hit me. I'm bitching about someone's song that can hit me from about 20 centimeters away. And that is the lovely Vanessa Müller, which is, of course, the most amazing stage name ever. But it isn't. <laughs> What's his stage name again? Nessa Vance. Nessa Vance. Ooh, that's... And then, but Van, Vanessa Müller. No. <laughs> Nessa Vance tours the world. Vanessa Müller works at the bakery. Yes. <laughs> <You're> right? <laughs> <laughs> so very smart there. Vanessa is in our songwriting course. We have done a reharmonization of the song that we're looking at today, which is why the chord treatment of the song Salvation is going to be relatively fast because we already worked it out, but we're going to show you what we did. Then... Um, we have an interview with her and a song analysis of her song Lost in This World, which is going to fucking blow your mind if you find out after about, I don't know, an hour of what actually is going on there and why she wrote it and who she stole it from. It blew my freaking balls off. I am ballless now. It is true. Um, I'll show you later. <laughs> no. So, we'll start. With Salvation, as always, we'll listen to it. Sorry, we got to do it. Should we, should we sit here while we do this? Okay, how about this? We'll just pretend to play it. And I'll just, I'll just loop the next 10 seconds. And doing that, it's playing, okay? Don't 
Well, that was fantastic, wasn't it? Okay, so Vanessa is clearly extremely talented. She's 12, no, what? No. <laughs> 20. <laughs> Same, there was a two in it. When did you write this song? Uh, Salvation, when yeah. I was 14. Uh, the complete song as 14, the bridge, uh, the chorus when I was 13. <laughs> that's redonkulous. That's just, that. that's sad because how can you be that talented so young? But you know what? To find out by the course, because there's a full interview about that. So now my thing about the song was, not just me, you also said that word, so I'm not, don't hit me. It's boring. Yes. It's extremely good, but also in a boring way. Mm -hmm. Now, the thing that is boring about it is you're doing a very tried and true chord progression, which is not wrong, but you're doing a maiden chord progression. Iron Maiden, six of the maidens, the six, five, four, which isn't bad at all. In E minor slash G major, but then you just don't do anything else, right? Mm -hmm. You're just sticking with the E minor D, C, E minor D, C, E minor D, C, and guess what? E minor D, C. And then it starts with C, D, E minor. She just goes back up as if she only knows those three chords. And then in the, oh, we didn't actually, <laughs> when we played it for them, we didn't actually show them the rest. Ah, it's okay, oh. we'll show them the rest now. But then look at the chorus. What's she doing? She's doing A minor, G, F which is literally the same thing transposed to A minor. She's doing a six, five, four in A minor. And then there's a really cool E flat in there, which she just magically pulled out of, I don't know, the ear, her, her bum, oh. as they say. She pulled it out somewhere and all of a sudden there was a E flat. But there isn't really a lot of development in the song. No. So what we did in the course is this. I said, well, why don't we just have it like this, but have the E as a pedal tone, as a, as a bass pedal happening in the first verse. And it immediately opens up things and it looks like this. So we said, well, we if we look at chord substitutions, the E minor in the context of G can be substituted for the G. Those are the same functions. The one and the six can have the same function. The problem is if we do a one instead of a six, it starts with... That's not the mood we're going for. So we can't really do much with the E. The D is the five. Now the substitution for the five would be the seven, and that's uh, uh, right. That's kind of tough. I mean, uh, uh, nah. So the five would leave as well, but the four, which is the C, can be substituted for the A minor, which is the two. Four and two have the same function, which is floaty. So one time around, we can actually do an A minor, which doesn't interfere with her melody. So on the third time around, we have a little bit of a spicy chord at the end. And then we're doing, what did, what, what did we do? Ah, we're in, the, we're in the A minor. And then we said, well, we're going, to the E minor again, but instead of the E in the bass, we're actually going to a five in the bass, the B. And then five in the bass. So for all three chords, we're playing the fifth. Fifth, fifth, play the fifth. Uh, you know, Chappelle show. So the whole chord progression will be. So 
now we are kind of floating, which is good because we got to move on. We got to move on to a C, which is fine. I'm keeping my C in the right hand. I'm moving it to the. So I'm doing C to C, but C over G to C over C, which all of a sudden has movement. Okay, that's what we did. Um, and we decided that because she didn't like it and I didn't like it, the first two lines were too low. Yeah. Right? You were singing. Um, so she's riding around on the fifth there. Which is really cool, actually, on the on the C because it's a major seven, but it's just too low for her voice. So I said, "Well," and since later on the I wonder, you're riding around on the third. I said, "Why don't you just sing it on the one? The five's too low. The third's coming later, so you sing it on the one, which means." Right? Yep. Sing it for us. Three, four. Maybe you were just blind to see. Maybe you just can't let it be. I wonder why you never try to let them know. I wonder why you never cry and let it go. So we can talk about that section now. So you, you can see, same idea. It's technically the same chords. We just did more monotonous bass. Changed one C to an A minor, which is a 4 to a 2, which is totally fine to exchange. You learn that in the course if you get it. And you're all going to get the chords, of course. Of them. Come on. And then did fifth in the end there. So that from the C to the C, we can go from the 5 to the 1, if you know what I mean. You know, we have the... So, now she's re reversing the chord progression. C, D, E minor. She's playing it up. And she's going back down. Where did we do... Oh, we didn't do it... Tw ah, for on the first time we did it, the second time we went up, right? You get the blame. So then, then I said, well, but going up and down a second time mm. is just a little bit boring and also doesn't build up for the chorus. It doesn't. If you go back down to the D and the C, it's not a build up, it's a it's a letdown. So we're doing it up and down once. Emotions, right? Sing it. So what we're doing here is, because we try to get the momentum in the chords moving, we just don't go back down with the bass. So we're doing C, D, E minor, and then D over F sharp, C over E, uh, G. So the bass is moving. And now we need something going into that chorus right here. So. C, in terms of modulation, could be seen as a pivot chord. It's a chord that exists in both keys. So C is the 4 in G, but it's also the 1 in C. And we're going to C major slash A minor. Very clearly, that's C major slash A minor. But the problem is that pivot isn't very clear. Because at that point, the C could be the 4, but could it really be the one? Because the next two chords that we're throwing at it, the A minor and the G, will still be interpreted in your head as we are still in G. So it's going to be four, two, one, and only when the F hits, your brain recognizes, oh, wait a second, I'm somewhere else. So we decided that it makes a lot more sense to make that A minor clearly the new tonal center. And how do you do that? 
secondary dominant. You're throwing a five in front of it. Now the five of A minor is an E7 or an E major. And that actually is pretty damn cool because if you look at where we came from, we have C, D, E, back to D but with F sharp, back to C with G, and now one half step higher in the bass will give me an E with a G sharp in the bass, that's the third, and that goes where? Right there. And I have a perfect transition and I'm approaching that A chromatically. How cool is that? So we have to, if we were to produce this, which I think we should do it one day, um, we actually have to find out how to exactly do that. But, um, let's keep it a secret, right? Someday you feel ashamed. A shame you sing the E, right? Yeah. And that's the cool thing that E is the three in the C and it is the one in the E. Uh, we are in a you feel ashamed. So, feel ashamed. Feel ashamed. How long is it? How long is that sitting there? A whole chorus, a whole measure. Okay, so it's it's sitting there for a while. Mm -hmm. That means we have some space. The other thing that, oh, that's what we wanted to talk about, the placement of where everything mm -hmm. starts. So the verse starts where? Maybe, maybe you were just too blind to see. Maybe you just can't let it be. So always on the two. Mm -hmm. And then the chorus hits. The chorus is... really the same thing just higher yeah and it's a great thing contrast wise to take a chorus and have that not start with the verses so when if the verses are starting on two have the chorus start on one or have a pickup so that it's a clear contrast it is a contrast in terms of key and you're giving it more power mm -hmm. but other than that it's really the same chord progression transposed and you're also starting it in the same spot within the measure so the question is if we're doing so let's see so not would be the downbeat which just means we're literally moving it one or two beats earlier it's not about you. So how does it usually work? It's not, it's not all about. Okay, so it's, it's not, it's not all. So it's just literally holding it for one, one more quarter note than usual, right? Yep. That's not so bad. So we got. It's not, it's not all about you. Let's do that, uh, just keep it a secret again. Just keep it a secret Someday you will be <laughs> I, I have to play it right. Um, no, and... Just keep it It's un mm, you're actually, not used yeah. to it, but it does feel different now, yeah. right? It feels as if it has more weight because you're coming down mm. on the um, on the one. The, the one thing is if people are singing it's not, to me it just it sounds like snot. Hmm. It's snot. And that it just it always confuses me. Um, we'll talk about lyrics in a sec. So the thing that we did in the chorus in terms of reham, is very simple. We don't want to do the same thing we did in the verses, which we could, but 
it'll be too yeah. similar, boring. So instead of doing the G and the F as a full triad, we're doing the G as a sus4 and the F as a sus2. Look what happens. So it sounds like a uh, let's do it here. Much more open. For it to open up, let's not be so strict on the triads. We need the A minor for the minority, the minority report. Um, it's a movie. You were this tall. Um, so sing, sing it with those. Three, four. It's three, four, eight. It's not, it's not all about you. You have, you have to face the truth. Okay, so that works really well. What else did we do? We did more. Uh, we did those. We did that twice. Did we? And then we did... So we went up, so we got an A minor, then a G with the third in the bass, an F with a five in the bass. No, no, we didn't. We need that last F on an F. So we got, no, we did that the second time. Yeah, we changed something. The second time. I'll say, okay, so it's, let me scroll down here. We're clearly excited about this. So we have, Now we're doing the up movement for the second time to be a little bit different. We can go down and again. So now we might have gone too far. We're on the F. Now we're doing the F to F minor, which is a four to four minor, which is a modal interchange borrowed from blah, blah, blah. It's you, but she's singing. That is the thing. Revelation. It's you. That's what she did. So she's singing that A. She's singing the third. So we have to change the melody now to to the A flat. So we're coming from. Wait, uh, it's you. Uh, so what did we do? It's yours. And because that is kind of a line that usually goes from the four to four minor to one. And I want to do it. So let's forget about that G. Four. It's 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 you. It's your. Wait, it's you. So what we're doing is we end on the four there, then we go to four minor, then I'm going to the one, but with the third in the bass, which isn't really that. It's still kind of a little bit hanging there. And we leave that E flat, which is a flat three, modal interchange borrowed from C minor. More on that in the course. But look at what my bass movement's doing. So you have this, the last chord's F, F minor, C with E in the bass, E flat. Now it's elegant because you got... So the last two would be... Uh, So the E flat now doesn't come from completely nowhere. It's a little bit set up by the chromatic movement because if you have these two, you expect a little bit of like that chromatic movement, right? So let's do, let's try to do the whole chorus. Again, that last line might be too much. It might yeah. be too musically, too, too clever. And if we were actually to produce it, we might not do it. Mm. So... Three, four. It's not, it's not all about you. Don't 
with it and make that work somehow but I think it's possible it shouldn't be me playing it should be me recording it and then really coaching her to where exactly the the the, the, the phrasing is but I think that's a little bit more elegant ending and of course with the with the susses mm. that chorus elevates yeah. and we haven't really changed that much we've done some sus where thirds were we've done a different bass movement here or there and of course that e7 in front of it oh and also getting back into the verse which of course is an e minor again because the girl changes keys like other people change their socks so um how do we get back into there well we already have a c at the end there right so why don't we make that c this mouse does not want to work on this mm. keyboard. Um, we pivot again. The C is the one here. Well, we're going to call it a four. We add a five. And bam, we're back. So the line is... Um, revelation. It's yours. And then we're back. We'll do it again. Um, Revelation. It's your, it's your salvation. And so on and so on. So bam, by doing a C, D, that was our little setup for a... Uh, modulation transition back into the E minor verse. So originally I wanted to force her into giving up the modulations. But that would have meant if we don't modulate, verse and chorus would have all been the same chord progression. Mm -hmm. oh, we can't do that. Okay, that that just that would have been extremely boring. So we worked with the module uh, with the modulations that she had, but actually set them up and try to make them more contrasty by giving the verses that static E with a couple of cool things and more contrasty with doing a pickup in the chorus. How do you like it? You getting used to it? Kind of, yeah. Okay. I think if we recorded it, I think we, we, we'd be cool. Now, let's look at lyrics. Okay. So, Vanessa, what's this about? Okay, first of all... <laughs> Um, I remember when I showed this song to my friends and family, they were extremely shocked because they thought I was extremely depressed and that this is about suicide. But I want to clarify that this, <laughs> this is not about suicide. Well, you're still here, so yeah. it clearly um, wasn't. It's the opposite. Um, Making yourself alive again. <laughs> uh, <a d> cloning <laughs> yourself. <No. laughs> this is a cloning um, song. I love the chorus isn't originally planned to be for this song. It was for a different song I showed you mm -hmm. earlier. Um, and there I sang about a person who would always complain and would always uh, think that people are against this person. And so the, this It's Not All About You was originally... Um, prefer to be for the person who thinks, uh, who thought that the whole world revolves around revolves them. Ah, oh, okay, okay. Yeah. But um, I love the melody and I wrote Salvation for this chorus, which... You had the chorus, salvation. but you had to yes. build the song around it. And... As a 14-year-old girl in puberty, I, I don't want to talk about my puberty because <laughs> I was a really, really weird person 
And I hate this chapter and I deny that I ever existed in this time. Okay. You were not alive <laughs> back then? Yeah. Um, I was in my own world. Hmm? And uh, this it's not all about you. I think I th uh, remember that this lyrics could be also be me in at this time because this was the time where I was finally back to normal or realized that I'm a pretty weird person because I always wear long dresses. I don't know why. I don't know why I um, was my own world, world and kids started to not bully me. I wasn't bullied, but um, I really wasn't in the class group also, mm -hmm. but I, um, I didn't really care. <laughs> um, and this is about to tell people what you really think you should tell them. Because if you not tell people what is going on with you or what you don't like, then... How would they know? How would they know? And you have to keep it all for yourself. And that if you say something, it's not bad. They don't cancel you for anything. See, now it makes sense. Yeah. I wonder why you never try to let them know. Mm -hmm. The you is you. Yes. As a 14 year old girl before. I wonder why you never cried and let it go. The problem I see with it is I understand it when you tell me your situation, mm -hmm. but the lyrics don't tell me that. Yes. So, and again, it's pretty mean to critique the lyrics of a 14 year old German girl writing in English. Um, a, a 14 year old German girl wearing long dresses, not fitting in, not caring about it. But then, you know, obviously, what you've done here, and I want to make this very, very, very clear to all the viewers, is phenomenal, not just for your age. This is phenomenal at any level, but it can be improved on. Yes. So, um, the one of the typical things is there's a lot of you, 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 mm -hmm. which we've looked at the other song in, in the course um, where you're doing the same thing. So, for example, if you replaced the you with I, mm -hmm. it makes it, of course, all about you. But then you're saying it's not all about you. Um, which you're saying it's not all about you as a reflective thing in the mirror, which actually you're singing later. Mm -hmm. That makes a lot of sense. All of a sudden in the bridge, and the bridge is, remember, uh, I, I can't say remember because you haven't seen the course. In the course we're saying the bridge is where things all of a sudden get revealed. The bridge is the last time in the in the, in the the song where you can actually bring new information because your last chorus is pretty much the same lyrics again, usually. So the bridge is where all of a sudden you open the box and you say, either here's the solution to a problem that we had in the verses, or by the way, this is what's actually happening. So if you're saying it's not all about you and then the bridge is like, I'm staring at the mirror. Mm -hmm. Wow, mind blowing. But you could also say, maybe we're just too blind to see because oh, then yes. it's about society. Yes. Because the thing is what you're talking about, that's a societal problem, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. Um, uh, rhyme schemes, C, B, simple, no, go. It works. Is it brilliant? No, but it works. Um, a song, and we talk about that a lot, I don't know, probably every Sunday, but also in the course, uh, power positions. Your first line in the in the uh, song is a super important line because that's very clear. The last line is very clear. Uh, the cr first line in the chorus, last word in every line is a power position. There are positions in a song where the words are less important and there are positions in the song where words are very important. And first line in of the song is the line that sticks with you. Um, Maybe we're maybe we're just all too blind to see. Mm -hmm. Maybe we're just all too blind to see. That works with your with your um, with your uh, phrasing. Uh, maybe we just all can't let it be. Okay, that that'll work. And then those two alls already maybe create the image of society, mm. a group. The thing with the them here is who is them? People. Sure. <laughs> but in your situation, it's like, you know, you're, you're the people around you. Mm -hmm. It's It hasn't been established here who who them is. Um, that's the stuff that I would work on making, I think, the the points of view clearer. 
Mm. Um, who are you talking to? Who is it about? And if you're talking about yourself as you, then really make that make that clearer. Uh, I wonder. I wonder why you never let them know. But the thing is, you're saying I, but actually the you is I, right? Yeah. And I'm, I'm, to I'm talking to my younger self. This was the idea, idea okay. behind it. If there was some hint that you're doing that, that would be killer. But so far, we don't know. Yeah. So far, I'm, I'm, I'm completely lost. Um, I wonder why you never cried. Cried, I think, in the sense of cried out, right? Mm -hmm. Just like, you know, stood up and said, uh, yes. um, but then let what go? Let their judgment go? Your opinion. Ah, okay. But you have to make up with yourself. You should tell someone. And then, I do like emotions, don't show them. It feels like an unfinished line somehow. But it's it's a strong... Uh, it's not cryptic. What you're saying is what you're saying. Mm. You know, it's not... It's not Shakespeare. You want to say, don't show your emotions. And you're saying it by saying, emotions don't show them. Sometimes, you know, just freaking write what you're trying to say. It works. Um, and you're saying you get blamed if you show your emotions? Yeah. Okay. It's, it's a society. If you break down, everyone will blame you and not... Yeah, because why. they're all assholes. Don't be assholes. Okay. Um, again, we have a lot of, you know, you will... Um, I, when you're singing it, just keep it, point, secret, that's missing flow to me. Mm. You know, something maybe you, 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 hidden. And this is where a thesaurus comes in handy. Let's look for words in the thes 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 thesaurus. For We're not going to do it now. This is going to be a long video anyway. Uh, let's look for words for secret, hidden, mysterious, mm. You can't say it, just keep it mysterious, okay? But I would look for uh, different words. Closed. Um, um, still. Keep it in the closet. Closed. Um, uh, hidden, hiding. Uh, I would look for uh, bottled up, stuff like this. I would look for, for a different way of saying that. Um, you're saying that someday you'll, you'll feel ashamed because you were hiding your feelings for too long, okay? Mm -hmm. um, ashamed or regret? Both. Okay. I mean, what I'm doing here is brutal because we're looking back at 13, 14 year old Vanessa and we're critiquing her <laughs> word choice of ashamed. Did you mean regret when you were 13 in English? <laughs> no. Okay. I, I you understand what I'm doing here is pretty, pretty <laughs> evil, okay? <laughs> but we're looking at your song now and what would we do to it mm. to, you know, improve it on, on it a little bit. Um, it's not, it's not all about I you. That's actually a super fucking strong line. I think I would now change the whole pre-chorus into masking yourself. Into, if you put a mask on your face. Mm -hmm. That, that's that's a good that's the other thing scrap it look at what you're trying to say and rewrite that section mm -hmm. mask is a, a, a mask task or, yeah, that, or acting or being your role that you are in. oh yeah absolutely yeah make it very clear do not play the role mm -hmm. that they expect you to play mm -hmm. because later you will regret not having been yourself mm -hmm. Write that down as that's the target that you're trying to achieve with the lyrics and then find the four lines that really do that. Great. Yeah, good idea. Um, it's not It's not all about you. Killer. I can't get past the snot, but that's my problem. I just always hear that. Um, you have you have to face the truth. Face the truth is very difficult to sing, especially for me with mm. lisp. Um, uh, it's not. It's not your revelation. Uh, for me, the thing, I know the song is called Salvation. Mm. Revelation and Salvation, it's not a rhyme to me. Mm. And they're t both big words. They're in important positions. But I feel they're lost there. Also, Salvation. Mm. I know that's the key center of the song. 
but you know what I'm trying to say? It's it feels a little bit constructed yeah. to be in that. Uh, I do like the theme that you're saying. It's not. It's not. You have. You have. It's mm -hmm. not. It's not. It's your. It's your. It's a lot of you and not and all that, but it's got a thematic development. That that's cool. I think if we scrap the revelation and salvation, song can still be called salvation without you having to say it's your salvation, mm. because it's a it's a long word. Freedom and peace. It release. Yeah. It's your yeah. Um, You said Christina Aguilera is uh, mm. is influence, and she's the the mother of all melismas, and uh, no, it's not melisma heritage, Heatheridge. Why am I doing heritage again? I've I've the second time now. M melisma Heatheridge. No, do you get this? Melissa Heatheridge. Melis a melisma is when you're doing <laughs> and freaking Aguilera cannot stop herself. Sing the freaking note, lady, and stay there. Sometimes it's totally you fine. You have to watch Oh Holy Night from Christina Aguilera. I, I think I've seen it. Okay. It's beyond ridiculous. Sometimes... She has a great voice. Yeah, yeah, but she's overusing it. Yes. Look, uh, um, Reflection oh, is one of the most mind-blowing songs in yeah. the world, okay? But that's when she was good. Mm -hmm. And then she's like, <laughs> it's like, it's too much. Sometimes sing a note and stay there. I've got a friend uh, from Ireland who sings a lot for me. And Adrian does that. Adrian always sings a note and then he feels like he's got to step down. What's his last name? Uh, O'Shaughnessy. Okay. I, I know someone, the, my old music teacher from my ah. school band, Adrian Allen. From a Adrian is a killer. I'll show you a song that he uh, sang. Actually, a piano song. <laughs> um And he always feels like at the end, he's got to do something to the note. And the one thing I always tell Adrian is, Adrian, stay on it. Because that's all that he needs to do. He's got killer ideas. He just freaking Aguilera's the shit out of it. I think it. this is my problem as well. Mm, in, 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 not, no, not that much. But sometimes I'm thinking, uh, there was another spot in, in, I don't know if it was that song or, or another one, where I was like, I need to stay on that note. Mm. Uh, salvation. That's not so bad. It's a melisma, but with a long word like this, what mm. are you going to do? Yeah. So I feel like this is where we would work. And maybe our really cool chord progression at the end there is a little bit much. Um, I do like, da -da 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 -da. maybe you don't live the life you want. With your ridiculously young age right now and back then, you did do exactly the same phrasing, mm -hmm. which is very difficult. Second verse is our bitch, right? Maybe, maybe you're younger. Maybe, da, 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 da. Mm -hmm. maybe you are younger. Mm, there's, there's a word missing because you have to do, maybe you're younger. Mm -hmm. You, mm, maybe you're young. Maybe. Self? Maybe you're, yeah. You're I'm, missing, I'm missing a syllable. Maybe the younger, younger self. self Oh, is, no, no, this, uh, yeah, disapp disappointed again, difficult and long word. Maybe you never stood up for yourself. That's a, a we we called this a uh, not a power line, a uh, was it a power line? No, what was the word? A booster line, where in the second verse you have a line that isn't phrased like the first verse, but you're doing it in a way that's way cool and that's pushing it a little bit further. We actually call it the phrase booster line by the course when it comes out later this year. I'm just trying to make them buy the course. All this is free, but I don't want them to have all this information. Free. I want them to buy the freaking course. Buy it. Buy the course. She already has it. Yeah, I buy it now. No, she didn't buy it. I gave it to her for free. <laughs> That's the trade-off. Um, I wonder why you wished... Ah, wish to be someone else. Okay. Okay, uh, but all the same, all the same. Now... You're doing this really cool thing with a da 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 da, da mm -hmm. like a very monotonous kind of thing. Um, but in front of the mirror, that immediately just threw me off mm. because you're, you're emphasizing off. And when you're reading it, I'm standing in front of the mirror. Yeah. Standing in front. Front is the tough, mm -hmm. the, 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 the emphasized standing. I'm standing in front of the mirror. And off is definitely not an emphasized word, right? Uh, but... Da, 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 da. How are you singing it? I'm standing from off the mirror, knowing that something's wrong. 
Okay, so that's what you're going for. Um, I'm looking at myself. I'm looking at myself. And no, mm. no. Um, so I would try to find words that fit in. Da, 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 stare at my reflection. Uh, maybe not like mirror. Move on. <laughs> yeah, but I mean, that's um, 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 or work with trying to paint that picture in that rhythm that you're trying to achieve. Um, mm -hmm. Looking, look at my reflection, uh, staring back at me. Not who I see you. It, yeah. The rhyme isn't important, but mm -hmm. just collect ideas of staring back at me, looking at my reflection, look at my double in the mirror. Um, uh, 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 Clone. Double. A clone, double. Mm -hmm. Collect all the ideas, all the words that could paint the picture you're trying to paint that will fit into that phrasing. The da 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 da. I stare at my reflection and uh, 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 in the mirror, and I see blah 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 blah. Mm -hmm. Whatever you can do. Um, I stare at my reflection, and I know that something's wrong. Okay, that could work. Stand, stand in front. Let's do it again. I'm standing in front of the mirror, knowing that something's wrong. I stare at my reflection and I know that something's wrong. Well, where do you stare at your reflection? It's got to kind of be in something mirroring, right? Yes. So not necessarily super important to say. Mm -hmm. uh, but all of a sudden, reflection, that's actually where it's supposed to be emphasized. Mm -hmm. is, is, is that the same phrasing? Do that looking around the... Looking around to find the right song. That is so beautiful. And you're actually breaking up that... Da, 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 looking around, find the right. You're doing a little bit of middleisma there, right song. That's beautiful. Uh, and then searching for words that I have to say. He, searching for whore. <laughs> you see what you're doing, yeah. right? You're I'm searching for right words, maybe. Um, searching for the words. Done. Mm. It, sometimes it's a, it's a little little things that's easy to do. Searching for the words, words that, that I. I Yeah, that's, yeah. It's, it's, it's not the same thing. But you see, we would have to work on that. Mm. Again, we don't have all the time in the world. Uh, and I know, you know, it, it's only the right... It, it's, it's, and I know, and it, I know it's the only way. Okay. Done. I'm sorry. Are you doing it higher? Mm. Same thing. Okay. Blah, blah, blah. Same thing. Now, this is already a good song without doing anything to it. I think by having some of the... Just get rid of this, Leslie. Leslie's switching today, by the way. I don't have to do it myself. She's still there. Leslie? Oh. <laughs> I think she fell asleep. Um, it's already a good song. It's a, it's a cool production. Nessa's not super happy with it, but there's, I think by taking the first lines, just up a fourth, bam. By putting that E in the bass, in the, in the, in the verses, bam, they, we have contrast by doing the setup for the modulations with the E and the CD, bam, done. I think tiny tweaks and in sitting down with maybe one or two other writers in the room and looking at the lyrics to give them a little bit of a, of a push to be clearer and maybe a little bit easier to sing in, 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 in parts. Mm -hmm. Uh, As I said, not just for your age back then or your age now, this is already a pretty good song. We've looked at songs in the series here on Sundays where that didn't have that level. So me picking at you and picking at your song, you know it's uh, come from a place of love and not... If, if oh, I, I came here because I thought my song was extremely boring. I hated it. And now with the changes, I think I can love it. I think... Uh, Just just that E out of a sudden gets you in that ah, you know, in, in, mm. in a really cool atmosphere. Um we'll find the time, I don't know when, because Gear Street's coming up, or for you, Gear Street's already behind, or something like this. There's a lot of stuff happening in the next uh, two months for me, but at some point, uh, we'll get her in here and we'll produce this in 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 in, in the way that it, you know, now should be. Mm. Uh you guys have been awesome hanging out with us on Sunday. And uh, hopefully we'll see more of her. She can throw songs at me all day long and we'll pick at them and then mm. we'll produce them and they'll show up on the channel. They'll probably show up with less piano and more guitar because we do guitar stuff on the channel, you know. But uh, she's also in three lessons in the course that you should spend money on when it comes out later in the year. She's already had a preview and she's going to watch the whole damn thing because she's mm -hmm. got nothing better to do with her life. Yeah. Thank you for hanging out with us. 
Thank you for having me. And um, you guys uh, have been awesome. Leslie has been sleeping because we've been here for five hours. And we'll put animals at the end as freaking always. It's getting ridiculous Afraid of the obvious We ain't no Or that it's better to leave now Than not at all And silence is killing us I guess we just talk too much before And it's better to leave now Than not at all Silence is bliss, let's not go back to where we started 